hey guys what's up so it's a very beautiful but a little bit gloomy morning so i just came back and you know had the shower breakfast and all that jazz and i am going to india so you guys must be knowing it from the title i am going to india for my sister-in-law's wedding so it's going to be like around 15 to 20 days of vacation for me and sid and we are super excited because both of us will be spending time with our families and also it's my sister-in-law's wedding so you know i'm already super excited for that because it's going to be a lot of fun and uh, yes uh, this vlog is going to be all about packing and all that care and last minute shopping and all of that yes stay tuned and this is just going to be a random day in my life kind of video i hope you guys enjoy it so yes let's just start with the day so the thing is before starting with anything else i need to prepare lunch so we will be preparing um chole and also paratha so that's uh, something quite easy that you know you can just have it and you can just uh, you know get all the energy to start with packing and all that stuff so that's what i am going to make right now and i'm going to show you guys how i make it all by myself uh, so i just hope you get some tips from me because i'm not being a pro at it but i just want to you know share it with you guys so yes that's the only reason why i'm showing it to you so what i do is i just add all the khara masalas in the chole and then pressure cook it that actually makes a lot of difference because the aroma is really good and also it actually helps to change the flavor so i've taken green chili ginger and garlic one onion and two tomatoes so make sure that you grind all of it separately and not together onions but okay talking about masala i've added jeera powder garam masala chole masala and i'll tell you guys a secret of a very tasty chole masala and that is anar dana powder I washed my hair after all that work I don't do this uh, in the morning when I shower because I have got sinusitis from a very early age so I try to ignore washing hair in the morning otherwise I would be sneezing throughout the day so I was packing and I thought why not take you guys along with me to pack all that stuff I really don't have any idea how I'm going to take all these things because i seriously have overpacked not because of my uh you know clothes and all that stuff i have got all the things that i need to gift my loved ones i'll show you guys what i am going to pack for the toiletries because that's something that is left so yes let's do that first the current situation of you know packing the house is quite messy right now because i've got a lot of things to do so these are everything that is going to be inside the toiletry bag let me show it to you guys what i've got so this is the toiletry bag which is from india like the ginger shop so i still need to buy a travel soap because it's quite difficult to travel with a shower gel and a loofah so i will be buying that later so here is the body lotion and um, this one's from Waitrose. I really love it. It's 98% natural and it is fragrance free, paraben free, really great for sensitive skin. This is what I use and I highly recommend. It's a very good body lotion. Coming to the hair department, this is what I use. I have started using this shea butter shampoo. Uh, it's a very good shampoo. So far I'm loving it and here's the same conditioner. For the serum, I don't really like it that much but still I'm using it. It's, uh, 
you know less unlimited by l'oreal so next up is this portable toothbrush and a toothpaste i got these from boots you can get all the miniatures from boots and especially these are really travel friendly also when it comes to face mask i really love this again it's from the pure range of vetros it's purifying clay mask and this is the face wash that i'm currently loving it's from simple quite budget friendly and yes it gives um, good results and next up is this apricot scrub i really love this scrub and i have the bigger one so this is a smaller one which i again got from boots and this is the intimate hygiene wash i'll show you guys in a minute which intimate wash i use this one's from india i've just packed it in this container so that it's quite travel friendly so this is the intimate hygiene wash that i use it's we wash i got this from india i have been using it for past Four to five years, my gynecologist recommended this to me. So yeah, whenever I go to India, I buy a lot of these so that you know I can use it throughout the stay here. So next up, I have pocket tissues by Waitrose, and here are all the perfumes. So I have these kind of containers. I got this from uh, Forest Essentials India. Whenever you visit Forest Essentials, ask them for a free sample, and they'll give you these kind of bottles. So I just filled in my favorite perfume, which is uh, Gucci Flora. This is Kama Ayurveda Lavender Oil. This is what I apply right after shower. I again got this from India. I need to buy another uh, two or three bottles of it. I really love it. I use it for everything. If you guys want a video about it, I can make it for you. So I hope you guys like this. What's in my toiletry bag? So now I'm just going to get ready, and I will be going to Stratford. That is, you know, a um, shopping mall there, which is Westfield Stratford. I need to buy a few lipsticks and few makeup items, which I hardly use. But since it's a wedding, I just realized I don't really have much of it and there are just two or three things that i still need to buy and then i'll just pack it and it's going to be done completely have seen this mall in a lot of photos of you know bloggers from india and from here too a lot of uh, bloggers visit this mall because it has got a lot of brands uh, so yeah i've just reached the mall and i'll take you guys around a nail polish brand that i'm obsessed with and i never used to find it in india and that is essi so finally we have essi here Now I'm searching for lip balms from Birds Bees. I really love their tinted lip balms and I'm just searching in the aisles. Um, yes, and uh, you know, as you can see, there are a lot of stuff here and I really love Boots. Like Boots has got everything from makeup to, you know, cleansers and all that skincare stuff. You can get everything in Boots. done with buying all the things from boots and now we are just you know exploring the mall and i really wanted to visit two phase and urban decay so i'm gonna go there first and then you know just roam around with everything like i explored the whole mall and it just took around you know one hour just to explore randomly and i'm just gonna go home now 
so i'm back home and i show you guys in a bit what all the things i got i didn't get a lot of things and i wanted to show, uh, unbox something in front of you guys so few days back i got from boots this uh, spa hamper so it was uh, from soap and glory and they are running a lot of discount on soap and glory right now so if you guys want to check it out then you can check that out in boots and you know you can buy that for yourself so this spa hamper is so good. I just wanted to unbox it in front of you guys. So wait a minute, I'm just going to bring that here. So the first thing we have is this bath bomb. So we have got two bath bombs. This is the other one. Next up we have this. Let me just take it out. Okay. So this is the scrub of life then we have this this is hand food i have used this hand cream in the past and it smells amazing so now we have this right use butter this is the body butter i have also used this in the past and it is super moisturizing so this is basically for very dry skin the last thing is this this is this creamy shower gel which i really like i've used this again in the past and still now i'm using a one bottle of it and it's just going to get over so this is the right time to you know take this out so yes this is again for very dry skin and yes it's cream based also from today's trip i got this professional which is a primer which i really love also i got two lipsticks from nyx these are really good for like if you have dry lips so that was it guys i wanted to share something really special uh, so today i was on tv so my uh, video that is uh, you know must do things in cardiff that was my latest video was broadcasted on cardiff tv which is a channel in cardiff right today at around 6 16 uh, that was the time given to me they played it on their channel so basically i was on tv today <laughs> so that really makes me happy i was really sad because i couldn't see the video myself that i couldn't see that you know my footage on the tv because cardiff is like in another country that is wales and uh, the channels there are not shown here in london so i missed it and i don't really have any friends there who can send me the shot that just makes me happy that my work gets appreciated and thank you so much guys it's because of you guys whatever i have whatever uh, whatever i get it's all because of you guys thank you so much and yes i'm ending this random day in my life kind of video right now if you guys like this kind of you know glimpse of my life then do comment and let me know i will surely make these kind of videos in future so my next vlog would be traveling to india i hope you guys are excited about that thank you so much for watching bye for now mm -hmm.